Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the Skull Dozer from Payday 2. So for today's drawing tutorial, all you really need is a simple pencil with an eraser and a handy dandy pencil sharpener. Well, let's get started, heisters. So, the first thing I want you to do is make a ovalish shape for the body of the bulldozer. Making simple shapes for sketches will give you a better perspective of proportion, especially when you're making human-like figures like this one. So, make a big oval shape going upwards and coming down to the bottom of your paper. So, an oval cut down half. Now, this is where we're actually going to form a little bit of the jacket, but this is a sketch, so we don't have to add in too much detail yet. And make the arms, which are basically pretty simple. Just make soft, like shapes in the form of arms. And you want to do that to each side. And this guy is going to be holding the KSP LMG, which is a gun from Payday 2. And basically, whenever you're doing sketches, you want to make sure um, that you are just basically making simple circles to start out with, and simple shapes for your character, and the same thing goes for guns. Uh, for a gun, it's basically really blocky. All you really need to do for the KSP like machine gun is just make a simple silhouette if you will of blocky shapes that's in the form of the light machine gun or you can make a different gun like say a different assault rifle or him just holding a pistol which would make sense for a big muscle bound guy like this because he is pretty much a arm to the T type of guy you can also make a circle for his hand and it have a finger protruding outwards to make make it look that he is pulling the holding the trigger of his machine gun. Now this is where you're going to go ahead and work on the head of the bulldozer of the skull dozer. And basically these two shapes on each side of the skull dozer's head are basically the bulletproof padding around his neck. And in the middle of those two shapes right there, you want to make a simple gumdrop-like shape. And this is where we're going to make his faceplate, which has that legendary badass-looking skull on the front. So basically, uh, the Skull Dozer is a special unit in Payday 2, which only spawns on Death Wish, the hardest difficulty of the game. And is basically the Juggernaut. And he uh, deals a lot of damage in the game, and he can take you out real quickly. And he's pretty much one of the powerful enemies in well, the most powerful enemy in Payday 2. And you'll probably rage quit a lot from this guy. <laughs> so, the second portion of the drawing, you're going to want to uh, work on forming and shaping his body and this means his uh, his the padding of on his body which is his basically his jacket now the uh, lower piece which basically is his crotch area right there get a few laps in <laughs> but anyways it's going to be kind of like a body armor piece right there and unlike uh, a lot of other portions of his clothing it consists of wrinkles uh, the bottom piece doesn't really consider, uh, doesn't really um, consist of wrinkles at all. So anything uh, below the light machine gun that's body armor and that's black doesn't really consider wrinkles, but pretty much everything else except for his head, of course, consists of wrinkles because it is actual clothing that he's wearing. Now, of course, you can see different sections of clothing, like for example, that sweater like sleeve. Uh, on top of his glove right there and you can also see the wrinkles that are actually forming from that sweater like sleeve it's all about observing detailing observing detailing in a very uh, high detailed photo like this is very important in achieving an accurate and a really cool drawing now if you're making now if you're wondering how to make uh, wrinkles and folds it's actually pretty easy they're just roundish like uh, longish or shortest lines that are basically coming out from the sides of clothing or just basically in the center of clothing in just random spots. 
This is a more realistic-like character when it comes to folds and wrinkles in clothing. And also, you want to capture the wrinkles and the folds and the stretches of clothing, especially when a character is wearing like a jacket, for example, and his arm is his arm is bending, and you want to he has his arm bent, and you want to show the wrinkles that are coming from his arm because when you move around, your clothing and wrinkles start to form and deform as you are moving. Of course, this is just a steel image. But I would just like to say that, you know, give you a better understanding of what, uh, why wrinkles, you know, are in some places and form around, you know, elbows and knees and so on and so forth. Now, the buckles on top of his shoulders are just basically square-like shapes. Now, this is where I actually made the KSP Light Machine Gun. Now, for anyone uh, wondering, now for anyone wondering how to make a good, realistic-looking gun, it's actually pretty simple. But for beginners, it might take some time. But don't worry, guys. I believe in you. But anyways, making a realistic or convincing-looking gun it basically this consists of uh, making uh, 3D-like shapes, well, three-dimensional-looking shapes on your gun basically make them look uh, have them stick out if you will now in this case this uh, gun's not really sticking out too much but as long as you add a lot of detail it actually looks kind of realistic now I've been uh, recently using nothing but my uh, mechanical pencil but I will be using uh, my 6B and my 2B uh, pencil sets, my uh, favorite Castell pencils in the future again, because those are really good when shading. Now the mechanical pencil, yes, it's good with shading and all that, but not as good as the 6B pencil when you're wanting the dark shading, and you might want to use that if you have that kind of pencil set. Uh, for this drawing, because it really get, when it comes down to shading, it really consists of a lot of uh, darks, a lot of blacks, a lot of grays, a lot of light grays. But that doesn't mean that you uh, have to, if you don't have it, you have to run out to your uh, nearby AC Morns or uh, art store or whatever to get that the pencil set. Really, it doesn't really matter. You can use a simple number two pencil. It doesn't really matter, you'll still get a good, convincing drawing out of it. So you can see the KSP machine gun is actually coming together. You just really need to make some straight lines and basically uh, little sections, and you can just make up... And I didn't really uh, go exactly by the drawing, I just be I kind of went by it, just making basic squares and all that. Um, for the gun that's basically shaping the whole body of the machine gun. So yeah, whenever you're making a gun, unless it's like a uh, imaginary fan fantasy-like gun, like uh, for example in Halo, um, those will consist of, like for example, the plasma pistol in Halo consists of like roundish shapes. But for realistic guns, like for Call of Duty, or in this case Payday 2, consists of square-like shapes, since they're a uh, lot based on uh, guns in real life. So right here, we're getting, we're pretty much wrapping up making the machine gun. We're getting down to the actual barrels. Now there are three barrels in total, and I really do like making guns. Uh, drawing guns because uh, you just get to look at the drawing because when you're drawing actual guns you get to see all the parts and all the mechanisms and how uh, mechanisms and how they all stick together and it's really cool So yeah guys, you can pause at any any moment 
to uh, stop and observe uh, the gun. And like I said, I haven't, I didn't really go by exactly um, everything on the actual photo that I got. And basically, I just made my own lines, my own uh, square-like sections on the gun. And as you can see, it actually pretty looks, uh, looks uh, pretty convincing. Like he's actually holding a actual KSP light machine gun. <laughs> and guys, don't worry if you if you think your drawing doesn't look convincing or it doesn't look as detailed enough as you want it to be. Hey, don't worry. To be honest with you, I don't care if the drawing looks like a bunch of scribbles. If it was your first time, then you know what? It looks great. Just take. Just for beginners, you know, it takes time. Uh, it takes time to make really detailed drawings, and you know what? You guys can do it. I believe in you. It really isn't that hard when you get down to it, and you're, if you're passionate enough, anyone can do it. Really, anyone can draw, and anyone can make awesome, fantastic-looking pieces of artwork. Now, this is where we're going to add more wrinkles to the actual body. Uh, to the body armor chest plate on the body and where we're going to um, finish off the little belt buckle right there that's connected to the KSP light machine gun and it's pretty much um, overlaying the little body armor piece we have there and also add in any wrinkles that you miss in any clothing now we're not adding too much wrinkles right here we're adding wrinkles here and there but this guy actually is wearing a jacket that a bulletproof like jacket that has a uh, digital camo uh, where, where we're actually going to draw we'll, we'll draw that in a little bit but now we're going on to the face which I love making the, um, the head of this guy it's awesome because he has he has a chest he has like a face plate with a cool skull on it which just looks badass so right there I made the little clipping shit uh, I made the little clipping right there that's uh, going to hold his uh, chest plate and he also has a little clip on top of his uh, little helmet that also holds it together now this is what we're forming and adding more detail to the bulletproof padding around his neck and around his head and right there I'm actually going to uh, I made I finish off the little bottom of the helmet right there but we will soon erase that line because this is where we're, our skull faceplate will um, where we're actually going to make our skull faceplate at. Now guys, if you have trouble with drawing skulls, this skull is actually pretty freaking easy to make, so don't worry. It's like making an emblem, for example. Now this is where we're going to make a our faceplate, which is kind of like a hexagon, hexagon-like shape. And also, go ahead and erase those little lines that we had. And this is the little uh, clip area I was talking about on top of his helmet that's holding the top of his uh, faceplate. Pretty simple, because this is simple shapes. Like a lot of portions of uh, his body and his gear consists. Yeah, make sure you erase any rough lines you can see and erase uh, the basic oval shape of the body. Now this is where we're going to form the skull. Now it will softly with your pencil make a, a skull and it's basically uh, his jaw is actually pretty long and his cheekbones are, base are really blocking and are sticking out like you see right there. Now this is where we're going to go ahead and make his eyes. Now this skull actually reminds me of the Punisher's skull if you're not familiar with that, look it up if you want to see some reference. So yeah, if you know what the Punisher Skull looks like, it's pretty much like this, just a little bit different. And also, once we're done with the skull, we can add in scuff marks and wear and tear. So guys, you don't have to go uh, based on everything I do. It's your drawing, your pencil, your genius. So you can do whatever you want. You can add in scuff marks. Uh, you can add in blood on your uh, faceplate, even though you might want to use coloring pencils to uh, actually show the blood on there in red. 
But yeah, it's really up to you guys. Add what you want, it's your drawing. You can even make the uh, Senpai uh, bulldo uh, Skulldozer, which you don't know what I... What that is, unless you're a Payday 2 uh, player or fan, you uh, might want to uh, look that up as well. So now we're getting to down to the elongated jaw of the skull. And basically has really jagged, long-like teeth, and they pretty much go all the way down to the bottom. There's not really an actual chin, just basically teeth from there. Now, what's really interesting about the Skulldozer is that he, um, it's an actual police unit, so he needs to somewhere to see, so he has these little tiny eye holes that are indicated by little X marks. Now, how he can see those, those puny little holes, I have no idea. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess the guy uh, took a little bit too much time making a cool, badass skull in his faceplate instead of actually making uh, decent-sized holes where he can actually see. But yeah, it makes the drawing, uh, it makes the uh, skull and the faceplate look really cool. And also, um, between the little uh, cheeks and the uh, little jawline right there, basically you want to form and darken in some lines right there. For the rest, you just want to darken in the faceplate. And also, you want to also dar darken in the eyes, but you want to do it where you can actually see of uh, the little X marks we made right there for his eye holes. Which just slowly um, outline, the, uh, outline the little X marks and basically gray them, uh, gray them out so, we're, so you can actually see them. Like I'm doing right there. So I first gray them, uh, gray them out, made them a little bit darker, and then I basically uh, darkened in the eye and hey, you can still see them. So yeah, I had more scuff marks, some scratches. So yeah, guys, go wild for the scratch marks. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So guys, have you played Payday 2 at all? Now, the Crime Wave Edition actually came out, and uh, I've been playing that game a lot re uh, recently with my friends, and it is a really fun game. Now, I was thinking about doing an actual review of it, but uh, I don't know. It, it came out a long time ago, so it'd probably be pointless to do a review on it. But anyways, I'll talk about that a little bit later. We're making the digital camo of his jacket, which is a great and important detail in this. Now, if you have ever played uh, Payday 2 on either PC or Xbox One or any platform, um, basically when you play on Death Wish, the Skull Dozer will spawn, and uh, with other enemies as well. And these enemies kind of have the, this gray a gray and black like um, scheme to their uniforms and they have like digital camo to them kinda like military like uh, kinda like military digital um, like decals on their clothing and I love um, this type of um, clothing right here that has the digital camo I love digital ca camo in any color really so yeah now um, trust me I did not want to actually make um, <laughs> every single patch of digital camo that uh, exactly corresponded with the movement of his clothing. Now, wrinkles you want to do that with, but with digital camo, like, but with something like this, you don't have to copy down exactly from the photo. It's pretty unnecessary. So I basically gathered simple di uh, patches of. Um, of the digital camo and basically uh, place that and slap it on the uh, character's arms, the body, everywhere except for his actual body armor.
But yeah, guys, add as much digital camo as you want. Like I said, you were drawing your pencil in your genius. And add more wrinkles if you want as well. But if you are those kind of guys like me that want to stay accurate to the drawing, then go do that. But also, I time to time I like to add my own little details to make it look more cool, or make it look more realistic, if you will. It really just comes down on how you want your Skull Dozer to look like, or any video game character in general to look like. So yeah, if you don't know what digital camo looks like, it's pretty basic. It, it just consists of blocky forms, of blocky sh shapes, and it's kind of like, um, in the sense of its name, digital. It's a digital camo. It looks like um, like 8-bit little graphics from like a Super Nintendo game, if you will, or blocky little cartoonish Legos, if you will. And that basically goes all the way around his uh, body armor as well. Now I'm telling you, this guy is armored to the T with bulletproof padding everywhere. This is why this guy takes a lot of hits before this dude falls to the ground. So if you find any more lines that are intercepting uh, other shapes, um, and I'm talking about the uh, lines from our little obelisk shape that we made before. You want to uh, erase that because that, this is no longer a sketch. This is more of a of a finalized drawing. But not completely yet. We still need to do shading. Which, guys, um, I know this is a big drawing and a long video because this drawing is pre um, consists of uh, putting a lot of details into it. But guys, trust me. Once you you might feel tired. Just give your uh, hand a break, and then pursue on um, shading. And uh, it's all—it's a really tiring process when there's like a big patch of like um, of a section of a character that consists of you that consists of nothing but black. Like for example, the body armor piece. I had a really rough, not really really rough time. Just it was just tiring because I made um, the sketch. I basically formed the gun and the arms and the face, and now I have to shade, which is not really too hard, as long as you have um, a good sense of lighting, and it really doesn't matter on what type of pencil you're using. Now, um, uh, mechanical pencil is not really considered an art pencil, pencil in any way, but it, can, it doesn't mean you can't use it to make cool portraits or drawings like this. So depending on your light source, it really matters what, uh, it really depends on what um, the shading, like the arm or something like that, or like a character's face, really depends on the light source, where the light is coming from, and shining on your character. Now this is where, now when you're coloring your uh, machine gun uh, dark, you want to make sure you're going to out darken in those lines and any uh, lines you have on your machine gun to make it more to pop out because um, the machine gun is actually in front of a piece of armor that kind of makes it blend in together so you want to make sure um, that uh, when people are viewing your drawing they can actually see the machine gun and it's not blending in too well with the, the actual body armor piece and also you want to make sure you're making dark lines for the shine of the helmet and also basically you want to color uh, the basic color of his jacket is just light grayish and other sections here and there and some portions of the some patches of the digital camo are basically dark so guys that is the skull dozer so what did you think about this drawing tutorial did I go in depth enough if I didn't I'm sorry but yeah guys if you need any uh, but yeah guys, you can pause the video anytime to check out any details that you miss, or you can go on Google and look up the picture yourself and watch my video again, and hopefully get a better understanding of it. 
So guys, have you played Payday 2 at all? If you have, what do you think about the game? Post that in the comments section below. Yeah, this guy takes a lot of hits, and um, there's actually two uh, uh, different types of bulldozers, and um, both of them just have like face plates, like him, but without the skull. And one is green, and he carries like a regular shotgun, and the other one, which is black but doesn't have a skull on his face plate, is pretty much um, uh, pretty much has a shotgun, but it's like a semi-automatic shotgun, which is more dangerous than the green one. But this guy, he carries a machine gun, which he can take you out in a couple of hits, and it only takes you like a few, like maybe five or ten hits to go down. So yeah, your body armor disintegrates like in not like from nothing. It disintegrates in seconds on Deathwish. So yeah, Deathwish is a pretty much different experience on uh, Payday 2. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. More drawing tutorials and speed drawings are coming on its way. So guys, that's me, Press Start to Draw, signing off.